Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hi. What's up? What's up? It's our Wednesday weekly chat. Um, I'm Chanza, <laughs> sister Kanika. Kanika, and we're here for, like I said, our Wednesday chat. Mm -hmm. um, what, did, what did we talk about last Friday? Well, oh, um, I know. We were talking about how we were going to mention the college cheating scandal. Yeah, but before we do that, let's okay. just kind of do all our like homework stuff, which is like um, make sure that you pre uh, you know you press the notification button so you know when we're on because we're on on Wednesdays and Fridays. Yes, right, and um, and then. Hey, 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 oh, we'll see you this weekend. Ooh, ooh. I was thinking about that today. I was like, ooh. I have a is week. That, is that Paige or is that? Oh, no, it's that's that Emily. Emily. Oh, no, no, Emily Page. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Congratulations, girly. We loved Please. your pictures. You'll send be it. seeing yourself, but send us more. Please. Send us more. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have another page, too. Yeah. So I'm like, Emily, <laughs> Emily Page. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. Um, um, but yeah. Yeah, and, um, and that um, after, if you need to go or you want to know about another uh, episode, um, our videos are always on our website on our website on our blog page so just go to curvyrose.com slash blog mm -hmm. and you can find all of our archived live chats mm -hmm. um we're still working on the captions yes i am working on that <laughs> so I'm, I'm letting everybody know because we just assigned that piece to me so i'm going to be working on that hold yeah. me accountable Hold me accountable yeah, for that. because I haven't been good at all. <laughs> um, so hold me accountable life, for the, that. The captions yeah. and stuff. Like what, you know, like a summary of what the chat is about. So yeah, when you click so on it, you, you know. on it, you know what mm -hmm. we're talking about. And probably some part. hashtags or whatever yeah, for yeah, yeah, YouTube yeah. or whatever. So that you can, you know, understand what mm -hmm. is going on. And then so I'll be working on that. will be posted. Yeah. I'm, near, I'm near not going to say what day exactly. <laughs> but, but hold me to it, y'all, because I am working on it. Okay, so um, last week we talked about, well, that was Friday. Fridays are usually Curvy Row stuff. Yeah. Um, today we're talking about other stuff that, you know, current events or personal stuff or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Or relationship. I guess we talk about relationship B type things. Kinds of, it's, it's more personal. Yeah, stuff yeah. Or stuff going on in the world, I guess. Yeah, so we're not showing any gowns today, but be on no. the lookout in the next few weeks or so because April is our anniversary month, and so we have some exciting sales plan. So, <laughs> and we, you know, if you shopped with us before, we don't have sales very often. We don't, so um, but we're gonna have we're gonna a have sale. a sale, and there are some dresses that you've seen that are gonna be on, on sale. sale. Anyway, yeah. So I don't want to spill the bees yet. But um, we we've already talked about which dresses are going to be mm -hmm. on sale. So mm -hmm. you know, t you know, just just let your friends and besties and let people know know that it's coming in the know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What you drinking? I'm re drinking water in my UCLA cup. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, well, honestly, it's because I don't have any more, like, decent UCLA gear. <laughs> um, yes, it's been a minute. It's been, it's been a while. It's, uh, well, you know, I graduated from UCLA, to, what, like, about 20 years ago now, so a little bit over that. It's, uh, so, mm -mm, yeah. So, all of my gear from back then, obviously, you know, and, and then, you know, as life goes on, you don't necessarily keep up with that stuff. And we're mm -hmm. now on the East Coast. So, you it's know, it's prevalent because we're in, in UGA country. It's UGA country and, and, and Auburn and Bama yeah, and stuff. So, so you don't really you're not going to see. At all. Yeah. So, I have to order the stuff online. And, you know, that takes like, that takes effort. It takes another it level of effort. You can't just go and pick it up somewhere. Right. So this is like my, <laughs> my the only one, the one last piece <laughs> of, of of gear that I have. <laughs> we need to get and somewhere. I know I'm Honestly. working on it. I had already I've already been on the Bruinware website and all that stuff, which is the UCLA oh, and store. You're actually wearing yeah. You well, are well, well, the school colors. Well, sort of, because our colors oh, are really M not goldenrod. They're really kind of more mustardy but yellow, but still, you're not mustardy yellow. But I didn't even notice that. Till just well, now. I try, you know, because I didn't want it to clash 
with the cup. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is all anyway. Plan. Okay. Well, no, because we had talked. We had talked yeah, about. We, we were going to talk we about the, the scandal. Because yeah. I mean, per, like, it was hot last week, and now you're starting to hear like trickles of the of the repercussions of what's going to be happening with students that are presently uh, enrolled. Oh, I didn't hear that. What? Yeah. So to recap, there was a big scandal where this guy had a business where he helped parents get their kids into the top schools. And um, whether it was SAT, like, you know, fraud, where either someone took the test for you or they, or they, ha you had a special like accommodation mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. the proctor would change the answers for you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you might be uh, present in a, in your application. You might say that you were in lacrosse or something. You know, you were an or athlete or whatever, and, and you, you never really yeah. an athlete in those sports or never mm -hmm. athlete at all. Because honestly, playing a sport is a backdoor way um, yeah. through the admissions yeah. process. Yeah. Usually the coaches have a list of folks that they want to put on their team, and they submit that to the admissions office. So they get kind of a different priority as far as admissions goes they'll still go through your your credentials to see if you're um, academically prepared mm -hmm. but um, they they have it for scholarship mm -hmm. ac for athletic scholarships they have a slightly different process it's yeah not the same well yeah so and they it's found a it's a, yeah. it's a this dude found a, a side door He's found a back door to get, get in. into these schools yeah and when I heard about, I mean, my mouth, I mean, I heard about it like on GMA in the morning while I'm getting my kids ready for school and literally my mouth just flew open and I had to call my mom because I was like, I mean, I knew Chanza wasn't up, but I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, I just never, I mean, and at that time UCLA wasn't mentioned in one of the, as one of the schools that were involved. Um, mm -hmm. And that was early, what? what Tuesday of last week, mm -hmm. or Wednesday. it wasn't Wednesday because Wednesday was the the blackout on Instagram when we right. were going to talk about it. We were going to talk anyway, about it. Anyway, we're talk, so I'm right. talking. Yes. I'm, I'm not getting to we're, the point. Yeah. The point yeah. is, I was in shock because not not because no, I, I was shocked? I was more in shock over <laughs> the fact that they got caught. Yes, yes. That, that was that more of my got, got caught. caught. Not that I didn't think that it ever happened because, because in we. My experience. Right. <laughs> I went to a small liberal arts college. Women's in college. Where there are people who um, attend who are from backgrounds of, of means, if you will. Okay. And. So and that is something that is that kind of swirls around like you know the parents paid to get nepotism to get in or you know they buy a building and yeah. the kid gets in or yeah. you know there are legal ways and there are not legal ways um there are even folks who write papers for people yeah, right, um, after people they've gotten in without yeah. merit and like and they just write their papers and go to class for right. them and the people just kind of coast they're like never in class like what what's going on yeah so when you heard about um the lady who plays aunt becky yeah, Lori Laughlin. Lori Laughlin. Um, is it Aunt Becky? No. Aunt, well, anyway, whatever you know her name, name is on Full House. Anyway, Lori Laughlin. Uh, that's her real oh, name. That's yeah, her yeah, actress yeah. Okay. name. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> when you heard about one of her daughters, um, like always on camera on social mm -hmm. media and like never in class, that's mm -hmm. part of the process. Mm -hmm. After they've gotten into school, then they pay someone else or a group of someone else's mm -hmm. um, to do the work for them, so they're still not going to class and earning the degree anyway I, I knew I was more surprised yeah. that the folks got caught not because that it doesn't happen because mm -hmm. and unlike your school I mean UCLA has tens of thousands of people mm -hmm. on campus from undergraduate to graduate school as well as you know faculty and employees and everything else mm -hmm. so you know we don't necessarily because our lecture halls are huge and you mm -hmm. know sometimes 200 mm -hmm. deep we don't necessarily notice when people are in class or not, so it wasn't yeah, like you it's, know it's, it's, a like, lot it's, it's a lot easier to hide. But at USC, but, it's a common we kind of hear about it. Yeah, yeah, and so and USC isn't that far from UCLA in terms mm -hmm. of like uh, distance. G G G yeah. G yeah, you know, um, it's just on the other like uh, other, other side, side of, of town, town yeah. uh, other side of town. I think um, that was the biggest thing that people got caught, and that it was it went off for twenty years. It was like a yeah. kind of crazy, and then you know, for me, you know, being first generation to go to college, you know, I was the first to go, 
Mm-hmm. And I worked my tail off we to even off. to even apply yeah. and then to even get in yeah. and then to work my butt off to stay and then to graduate. I mean, I, you know, it felt like, well, dang, you know, if I but work my butt and, and parents, I mean, you know, she knows because she was in high school at the time, you know, everybody was in there with me, you know, like just trying to make sure could he we good, like, it happen. <laughs> you know, pay yeah. it, writing a check and whatever, yeah, or I, just sacrificing I the time. I, well, I knew, I don't know if it's in the same place now, but I knew their financial aid <laughs> office very well. Where Murphy go, Hall. Where you go and submit the check. <laughs> Murphy <laughs> Hall. Because, you know, it's like run to get the <laughs> tuition check in yeah. there before they drop classes. So, yeah, yeah. you know, this week UCLA is on, um, uh, their is finals. So they're taking their finals this week. They're on a quarter schedule. Um, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how after spring break, you know, administration there mm-hmm. handles things. Mm-hmm. Um, I do some volunteer work with the Alumni Association. and um, I'm a member there. And so, you know, I mean, it's shaken all of us because, you know, a lot of us who, you know, we got in on merit, you know, and worked really hard. Um, we we love our institution we love Mm -hmm. our college and Mm -hmm. you know for it to be sullied like this is you know by people that didn't care they cared more about their kids or their their image that's the thing they cared more about their image than than living in integrity and that Mm -hmm. just hurts everybody you know Um, and especially you know with ucla being the number one public school in the nation right now i mean that you know and sc too i mean it's just i I just and and there are other schools too involved in this and i'm sure as time goes on they're going to uncover more things usc Mm -hmm. in fact you know they're just coming back from spring break i think next week Mm -hmm. and they've already um prevented kids who have who are in who who are allegedly involved in this Uh they've prevented them from registering for class for the next semester, they're on semester system, Snap. so they prevented them from even registering. For, or like they register, but they but won't allow they them won't to pay allow or whatever. To attend attend class. class or even like their classes have been dropped. And that's such so, for kids who didn't know their parents. Yeah, had rigged yeah, the situation. right. I mean, there's just a lot, and you know, there are grown ups like me that are yeah. you know that know that, that probably by now that their parents did that stuff, and now they're like, okay, now I gotta like hide and act like I didn't you know and I, then it you makes know. you wonder like if they were doing it for 25 years all those people who have graduated gotten jobs well I mean because I've been out for over 20 school, years so like I then mean are they gonna like figure out who did it and then like revoke <laughs> all of their degrees there's like, no way that you could yeah, because mean, at this point we've already been entrenched in our careers we've already made you know so much money and mm-hmm. already have like managed other people or mm-hmm. you know I mean we've risen we've done the work yeah, so at Maybe. this point, there's no sense. There's no point in at going after folks that have who previously have ha- already had yeah, the degree. It's more about the kids. It's are either they're involved. either they're yeah, or or close to like right after graduating. I don't know how they're going to do the statutes, but whatever. Yeah, DOJ. I don't know. It's going to be it's going to be interesting. And well, because schools. it's going to really que- it's going to really put into question how this whole admissions process really. Um, because the admissions process for college here in the U.S. is like really rigorous. I mean, I'm telling you, like some of the applications I've seen for, you know, for scholarships, um, I wouldn't get in now. <laughs> what do you say? I'm just being yeah. honest. <laughs> I mean, me too. I mean, th- these kids are so accomplished. It's they like, are. I can't even, I it, mean, I'm it, looking at my children like, yeah. okay, you know what? You need to like do STEM. You got to have a I'm business. Saying, you like gotta, one of the recent grads <laughs> from my school, she won an Oscar. I mean, you have ago. to be such a rock like, star in every area. Ooh, it's just like crazy. Like, yeah. I don't even, I can't compete with that. So, you know? I mean, the, the, it, it has become so competitive and so rigor- rigorous that this whole thing is going to become more there's going to be more discussion about the has versus the have not yeah. and those that have not how are they going to compete with, with those, those who have? have and I don't yeah. mean just have in terms of like their intelligence I mean haves in terms of their money yeah. and you know Economics. like and 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 that's really what's going to really kind of mm-hmm. be this m- there's going to be more discussion about that yeah. because um no matter if you are like in the top tiers, colleges, or even you know wherever, it's mm-hmm. going to really you know call in, the, in the call those things into question, and it's really going to you know be a gut check for parents too. Like you know maybe your kid needs you know 
maybe they don't need to go to college because the college isn't for everybody. for everybody and, and you pushing them it's to really do all not. this stuff and crazy and, and going crazy I mean yeah. I, I, I swear some of my gray hair came from just trying to apply <laughs> you know I mean yeah. it's just crazy anyway we talked like 20 minutes about that but I just yeah. wanted to to make sure that we touched upon it because it really is something that's close to our hearts mm -hmm. education is number one no matter what you know industry or what school you went to or or even if you um went to a trade school I think that's awesome too because yeah. we need we need we folks need. to go to trade schools and you know that's that's for real yeah, yeah, yeah. so having a skill is awesome um, the next thing I wanted to chat with you all about yeah. well see you know this post this Joel Osteen post I was um, out running errands and all of a sudden I had just posted <laughs> to our Instagram and to our social media and then all of a sudden I look down and there's this new post and I'm like, okay, wait, did she just post something without downloading my, <laughs> you know? <laughs> she didn't know. And, and I didn't know she was going to post it. And then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, she posted to our page when she meant to post to her personal page. And then I'm like panicking, like, oh my gosh, do I need to take this down? And so then I had to read through the caption because I was like, did she mean to do this? Did she not? <laughs> then I realized she meant to. So then I was like, okay, fine. We're okay. <laughs> Just so I you didn't all know, if know, I needed to take you know emergency right. action. <laughs> Just so you <laughs> all know, Chanda, she really heads up our our social media, and she does a lot of the writing, and even the cho she chooses the photographs and yeah. all of that stuff. So what you see is most most of, what most you of see is is, me. is is her. Mm -hmm. um, if you see something from me, usually I put my name. I sign I sign off on it. Mm -hmm. Just so you know the difference between the two of us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Of course, you know, I do know what's kind of going to be posted or whatever, mm -hmm. but she's she's she leads on that. Um, but asked me, I asked her to ask me some questions. So it didn't <laughs> act like it didn't seem like I was talking about myself the whole time. But I think people kind of wondered, like, we like, what's up with yeah, that? like, what was up with that? <laughs> why right. Did you post that? <laughs> why did you post that? Like, at that random moment, like, why, what, right, right. what was going on? What was going okay. on? Let me know, because right. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> the reason why was, um, you know, I usually watch Joel Osteen on the weekends, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, and he usually comes on on Sundays or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I missed it, missed him because I was doing other stuff. Well, Monday I watched it, and I watched this particular, well, this particular um, message was already, it was on this weekend. Like, okay. if you watch you know the broad his broadcast that's broadcast on different stations mm -hmm. on cable um it was aired it aired this past weekend and so mm -hmm. i caught up with it on youtube because i subscribe mm -hmm. and he's a, such an encouraging guy and i really like all of his stuff mm -hmm. but anyway i'm just like da -da 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 -da, doing stuff at home and the topic it's just something about God, you know. It's like when you just need that little bit, little bit of encouragement. Mm -hmm. It just He just knows how to, you know, meet you where you are. And I listened to it, and I was like, He is so right on. It was mm -hmm. almost like, you know, it it was just it, it was kind of an epiphany moment for me because a lot of I'm re I'm pretty private, and I don't share a lot of my whole process and my life very much, um, but. It, it was so good because everybody thinks that when you, everybody wants to be successful. Mm -hmm. And everybody, at least here in America and with social media and everything, everybody thinks everybody is successful. Or, you know, mm -hmm. if you, po you post your whole life online, yeah. you're always thinking about what other people think and of it's you. Curated. And it's always, it's, you know, it's always the good stuff. It's always the good yeah. stuff. It's never the, you know, the bottomed out parts, you mm -hmm. know. And then it's always like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then, you, you know, my mm -hmm. thoughts and prayers. And then you go on, yeah. you know. And, yeah. and, this message just really caused me to pause and I was like you know he's so right and I think you know he's so he's so great and he's a celebrity and he's at the top of his game mm -hmm. you know I'm, I'm sure people think okay yeah of course he's saying do it scared you know mm -hmm. of course he's saying you know go go and do what God told you to do yeah, because he, you're at the you're top, at the top. You're, yeah. you're 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 doing well I mean you make millions of dollars of course right, you know right. you, you it worked out for you yeah. you know and I thought yeah. well you know maybe if I share part of my testimony and I'm still in process mm -hmm. maybe that might encourage other folks to say you know if she says that Joel's right then maybe I can do it too, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so I thought about it and I, and I wrote that little piece really to inspire others to, 
to trust God more, mm -hmm. to trust God's love more. He loves you so, so much. I can't even explain it. Even in the darkest times, and believe me, I mean, I've been through some of the hardest things that no one should ever have to go through. Mm -hmm. And yet, I still choose to trust God because I know that his plans are good for me. Mm -hmm. And when you trust in him, it helps you to trust yourself more and your and, and trust trust yourself in what um, you believe you should be doing or even just just trust your your judgment more. Mm -hmm. And then it, and then in turn, it helps you to love others even more. Mm -hmm. So I wrote that just to really to encourage others just to just to trust God more. And then, you know, if he told you, like, go do this thing or like in my case, Go start this, <laughs> this shot. Right. Um, yeah. You know, step out. Now, it's a process. And, then, and I want to also share that, too, because even Joel talks about that in the message, that it was a process. It wasn't mm -hmm. like, you know, his father passed away, and then the next thing you know, he was making millions of dollars selling, yeah. you know, bestseller lists or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was a process, mm -hmm. and everything that God does is a process. It is not, it's very rare that it is an instantaneous type of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in Jesus' ministry, mm -hmm. it, was, it was a process. It wasn't yeah. just like a poom, you know. It wasn't immediate. It wasn't immediate. Yeah. And so you have to be patient through the process mm -hmm. and understand and know that God got you mm -hmm. and that he's holding you mm -hmm. up, you know? And um, and in my process, that's what, really what it was about. But mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to encourage folks today, mm -hmm. you know, um, watch the, the video on YouTube or, you know, click the links that we had in our, <laughs> our little <laughs> post and, yeah. you know, check it out because it really, it really does challenge you to say, you know, hmm, Maybe if I do step out, God will catch me. Yeah. Maybe if I put my little, and, and it wasn't even with this, even with Kirby Rose, it wasn't like, okay, he told me and next day we had a shop. No, it was a process. It was a process. And it wasn't like, you know, and yeah. it was a dip of the toe and it was a test yeah. of faith. And every, every time, step. every step, mm -hmm. he said he was there. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay, okay. let's step I another guess more, you know. We're doing this. Yeah. And even now, even today, there's some challenges, mm -hmm. you know, that that is going on. Mm -hmm. And even today, I trust God, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm still in process. I'm not 20 years down the road like Joel is at the top of, of the game, you know, whatever. I yeah. don't know what the top of the game <laughs> is for, for us or right. even for me personally yet. Right. But that's OK. You don't mm -hmm. have to know the end game because mm -hmm. in the end, I mean, you don't have to know the specifics about the end game. The only thing you need to know is that you win. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. So how you get there? <laughs> it's, sometimes it's a struggle. Yeah, how you get there, and and it's a struggle, and you can't be so afraid to fail that you don't try. Yeah, that's you a can't big that's be a big so one. afraid that you don't try. You can't be so afraid of what other people are gonna say about you yeah. that you don't try. Yeah, and that's the thing. You gotta, you know, and that's a process because for some of us, we're really wrapped up in that more than others, you know. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I left a career that I loved. I mean, the people that, that know me, they know that. Mm -hmm. You know, I I took names, you know, <laughs> and yeah. I really enjoyed what I did. Mm -hmm. And um, and yet, when that door closed, and I was trying to pry it back open, I was yeah. like, who oh, no, don't close on me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was like, who, you know. I was struggling no, to hang it on yeah. because I was hanging on to that cliff because I had just lost my husband. So I was just like, don't let this other, This. I was trying to pop it up with a stick. I was doing all <laughs> kinds of things I could do. And he yeah. was closing that door for a reason. Mm -hmm. But, and I could have just sat there and been depressed mm -hmm. and just, you know, been so concerned about how, well, what are people going to think about me? You know, you have all this education and all that stuff going and for you, all these skills wasted. and everything. It's been wasted. What are you going to do with what that? Do with what are you going to do now? You yeah. know, that kind of thing. Immediately, it was, yeah. what are you going to do now? And are you, are you even making any money at that? I mean, oh my God. I mean, yeah. all of that stuff. And I had to get to the place where I was like, I, I was so desperate to, I don't, I'm not the type of chick that likes to be at home watching TV, like mm -hmm. during the day. Mm -hmm. I had to find something because my kids were going to school by then. I was like, it can't. I don't have babies to take care of, so yeah. like, what am I gonna do? You know, take care of during the day. Mm -hmm. And I said, I gotta find, you know. And it was really during that like quiet season that he was like, "Do what I told you to do." And I was like, uh "Huh?" You know, because because <laughs> this I hadn't done before. No. 
we weren't in retail. We, I mean, we went to school. I have degrees, not just one, but many. Uh, many. And yeah, so, I do, and, and it was not in merchandising and no. and or event planning or Anything any of that related. stuff yeah. that was red, wedding related. Yeah. And and so I didn't think I was like, well, that's just kind of dumb. Like, but see. That's what they Sometimes when God tells you to do stuff, it's not going to make any sense. Make <laughs> Just kind of like when, when the angel came to Mary and said, you will have a, a child. She was like, uh, uh how is me? that going to happen? You know? <laughs> and he was like, don't worry about it. We got this. You know? It's like, like, oh, okay. You, know? <laughs> you just go with, <laughs> with it. But it's according to how you receive it, right? Because yeah. if you reject the the promise and it'll just move on it'll move on some, right someone else so anyway but, it's yeah. not i'm not here to preach to anybody it's yeah. just really to encourage you all mm -hmm. encourage folks that are listening to go after your dreams you only get one life y'all you only get one one chance in this body with this breath to do great things and even if it's great things in your home with your children or great things on the national stage or even in your local community you can make a difference and that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. We are here to 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 express God's love to others. Yep. Bottom line. Now, whatever form that is for you, that's what it is, you know. But it doesn't have to be the same thing, same way, same thing for everybody, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And every everybody's path is different, mm -hmm. but um, but we all have a purpose, and God has a plan for everyone. So. Mm -hmm. Be encouraged. <laughs> I think we went over it like yeah, crazy. Yeah, we did. We did. Because <laughs> I like to talk. She's a talker. Okay. So, but anyway. anyway. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining us today. We will be back on Friday. Mm -hmm. Same time, same place. Mm -hmm. Remember to turn on your notifications so you know when we're on. And we will see you soon. Remember to choose love and be love. And we'll catch you next time. Right. See you on Friday. Bye. <laughs> Bye.